guys, welcome back to my channel. Bienvenidos a mi canal. This is like the freaking fourth time I'm doing this intro, so let me get this right. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Bienvenidos a mi canal. Today we're going to be doing a spring makeup look. And I really was looking forward to this look because I love everything about spring and summer. Just because it lets us play more with color when it comes to makeup. And I tend not to go towards the color i tend to go more into the neutral side i wanted something on my eyes that just pop out but yes yeah, simple you know not too hard to do i did a color winged eyeliner and i loved how it turned out and the lip gloss just pops it off so yeah if you guys want to see how i achieve this spring makeup look then keep on watching We are going to go ahead and just prime our eyes and I'm going to be using, you know what, I'm going to use this one. We're going to be using the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer and I'm just going to be putting this on my eyelid and I'm just going to blend this in with my Camo Concealer sponge all over my eyelid. It's so weird to be recording a video like during the day because it's like 2.42 and I normally record at nighttime around like maybe 7 or 8 because during the day either I'm busy like you know doing chores or finishing up what I gotta do before I do my videos but today I was able to do it in the day which is kind of weird it makes my bodies feel kind of weird but anyways <laughs> let's move on for today's eyeshadow we're gonna be doing something pretty simple nothing dramatic so we're gonna be digging into this palette which is the lizzie mcguire what dreams are made of i already did a look using this palette so if you guys haven't seen it yet what are you waiting for go ahead and see it we're gonna go ahead and start with this eyeshadow which is called done and done grabbing a fluffy brush putting this color right here on that crease just doing windshield motions and circular motions as well to blend that color in. This is such a pretty color. When you see it in the palette is brown, but when you put it on, it's more like a pinky tone color, which was weird when I first saw it. And I tried it, I was like, oh, it's different than what it looks in the palette, but I still love it. And we're going to bring this color down towards our eyelashes and then going back up just continue doing that until you guys have that perfect blend If there is any makeup look that you guys want me to try or, you know, to film, let me know. Comment down below because I am more than happy to do a makeup look that you guys will like me to do. Next, we're going to be grabbing the BFF ColourPop Collection. And we're going to be using this color right here, which is called Skinny Legend. Grabbing a fluffy brush. And I'm just going to be blending this color in right where I blended that other color. And I'm going to be bringing this color up a little bit closer to my eyebrow. And going downwards my eyelashes and going up again so just grabbing a little bit more in that same BFF face palette we're gonna be using this pink one right here which is a blush, but we're going to be using it for a eyeshadow as well. Grabbing the same fluffy brush, and I'm just going to be putting this color right on top of those colors that we just blended in. 
just to give it more of that pinky color on there. I'm keeping this color right here on the lower part of my eyelashes, kind of going towards, towards my eyelashes, and also here on my crease. That's where I'm just going to focus this color. I'm doing circular motions to blend this color in and windshield motions as well. Next, I'm going to be grabbing this fluffy brush. It is a smaller brush that it's fluffy from the top. And I'm just using this brush just to go over that top of my eyeshadow. I don't want any harsh line there, so just make sure everything is blended out well. So next we're going to go ahead and do our eyeliner. I'm going to be using the Lizzie McGuire palette again. We're going to be using this light pink color right here. I'm grabbing a small eyeliner brush. I'm going to go ahead and just start doing an eyeliner. Grabbing my setting spray and I'm just going to be spraying my eyeliner brush. Being in that color and I'm just going to be tracing over that winged liner just to give it more of a color pop on it. Since I don't have an actual eyeliner pink, this is just a trick to do it. Grabbing this color next, and it's called Outfitter, Outfitter, why did I just set that? Outfit Repeater. And I'm just tracing over that light pink that we just did. I'm going to go in with my concealer, also with this tiny brush. I use this for my eyebrows, but I'm going to go ahead and use this just to clean down that eyeliner. Moving on to our primer, we're going to be using the Revlon Prime Plus Brightness Plus Skin Tone Evening. You guys will see me use this primer probably for a good while because I really like it. Next, I'm going to be going in with my NYX Dark Circle Concealer. I can tell I have pretty bad dark under eyes right now. I'm just going to be putting this product right here, mainly concentrating it more where, that, where my dark circles are at. Putting some on the side of my nose. I get a lot of redness there and darkness too. And some here because I do get darkness around. I do have darkness around my mouth too. And I can tell today especially because it's still light out. So if you're going to be out and about, make sure you are covering the, those dark circles. Moving on to foundation, we're going to be using the Beauty Creation Flawless Day Foundation in color FS. 4.0 and I'm just going to be dabbing this foundation all over my face. If you guys notice, I don't put foundation underneath where my dark circles are at just because I don't like to put extra product or extra foundation if I don't need to there because it makes it more cakey. So I just leave it like that. Um, I just use my concealer in my dark circles concealer as well just so it won't get too cakey because if i do put foundation i notice it does get cakey and i'm just going in with my foundation brush i really love this foundation it's like one of my it has become one of my favorites honestly i like how it just sets on your skin i like how it's not too matte so it's not super drying to your skin and i am more into the dry side when it comes to my skin so i tend not to go towards matte foundations but this one is actually not that matte and i really loved it 
Moving on to our concealer, I am going to be using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I'm going to be putting some here, some up here, some on my nose as well, some on my chin and my forehead. Grabbing my Camo Concealer and just blending this product in. And when you blend concealer, you guys don't slide it. Tap on that concealer to blend it out. I want to do a video with new products um, and let me know which ones you guys are interested in me recording because I really want to show you guys if they're worth it or not. So let me know what new products you guys want me to try or even if they're not new and they're like very famous in TikTok, I definitely would like to do also like a viral TikTok makeup. But let me know, comment down below to see what you guys would like me you know to record for you guys with products moving on to contour we are going to be using the clinique chubby stick i'm going to be using this to contour the nose area and just blending it in with my camel concealer i'm going to bring this contour all the way up to my eyebrows I'm going to be putting a little bit of that concealer in the middle of my nose. I'm just tapping that in. Next, I'm going to be moving on to a, a my trans... Oh, I can't speak. Next, we're moving on to our powder. This one is from Airspring Translucive. But before we go in with that powder, I'm going to make sure everything is blended in. Once that is very blended in we're gonna go ahead and go with our powder next we're moving on to this face palette this one is from um bh cosmetic and it's the bff collection we're gonna go in with these two colors right here this is my first time trying this face palette so let's see how it looks and I'm just tapping this in. First of all, it is very pigmented, so a little goes a long way. Oh yeah, it's very pigmented. For our blush, we're gonna be using this one, which is You're My Person. It's from the same palette. I'm just going to go over a little bit on top of that. And I'm going to bring it up to my temple. Putting a little bit of this pink right here on my nose. And I'm going to be grabbing this fluffy brush. It's really big. And I'm just going to be mixing these two up. I feel like I put a lot of bronzer. So I'm just going to try to remove a little bit of that. Much better. Next, we're going to go in with another blush. This one is from Lizzie McGuire. I'm going to be grabbing a little bit of this because it does have glitter. I just want a little bit of hint of that glitter in my cheeks. So I'm just going to put it, just tapping it down just really small amount because it is very pigmented, you guys. Bring it up to my temple. Grabbing a big fluffy brush again and I'm just mixing these products in just so they can look more flawless. Next we're going to go in with this powder. This one is from Morphe Bacon Set in Banana. Grabbing my beauty blender and I'm going to be using this to clean up this area right here where the contour is and also on my nose. It's 
spring is like one of my favorite seasons just because first of all spring is in my birthday month so I, and I feel like spring is also beautiful because it has a lot of like colorful colors and that's what I love because I like to get out of my comfort zone a little bit I'm more of a neutral girl so when I can use a little bit of more colors which is on spring and summer I try to get a little bit of my comfort zone and do more eyeshadows with color because I'm not gonna lie I am a neutral girl so next we're gonna go ahead and move on to our highlighter we are gonna go back into the BFF face palette and we're gonna be using the highlighter that comes with it this is my first time trying this highlighter so let's see how it works okay that's cute I like it That's really cute, actually. I love that this highlighter has that pinky tone to it. It's just because it, I feel like it brings out my pink eyeliner. So I'm going to put a little bit here on my forehead. I'm putting some here on the lower part of my eyebrow. Next, we're moving on to lashes. We are going to be using the Arda Wispy Lashes and Demi Wispies. A few moments later. I went and put on my lashes. It definitely makes such a difference when you put your lashes on. Like your makeup is like wow. Because it really brings out your eyes. Eyelashes is definitely one of my favorite parts when it comes to makeup. Because it definitely makes a difference. Alright, so next we are going to go ahead and finish up. But we're going to remove this powder. Just grabbing a fluffy brush and just removing this powder. The highlighter is so pretty. I really liked it. Taking some from my nose. By the way, you guys, I know I have been a little MIA. Um, I've mentioned this on my last video, but in case you didn't see that one, I am back full time at work, so it's a little hard to <laughs> record and edit my videos because I was so used to having my free time. So coming back to full time is definitely hard i promise i will get my schedule down for you guys so i can continue recording and uploading videos for you guys i want to be able to upload two videos a week for you guys so i promise i'm trying my best i just need to learn how to balance my work job and my personal life but your girl will be posting i promise just just bear with me i want to go back into this lizzie mcguire's palette and i'm going to go into this pink light pink right here it has a sparkle on there it's so beautiful grabbing a little bit and i'm gonna be putting this right here on that corner of my eye this palette is definitely very pigmented like when i first tried it i was like whoa and i'm bringing it a little bit lower to my lower lashes That's really cute. All right, so next we are gonna go ahead and finish this up. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, right, my lips. <laughs> For a lip liner, we are gonna be using the NYX lip liner in color natural. Next, we're moving on to the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss, and this one is in Dainty. I'm going to be putting this color right in the center of my lips. And with my finger, I'm just going to be tapping it in to blend that in my lips with the other color. I am going to be using another one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in Sunset Strip. This one's actually one of my favorite lip gloss that they ever came out with. For our last step, we are going to go ahead and do the most important part to go ahead and finish this makeup and hold it in place for a long time. We are going to be using the Fix Plus setting spray. Let me just bring this hair down. 
if you guys like this video make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe down to my channel and hit the bell ring button so you guys can get notified every time i post a video for you guys but that was it i hope you guys enjoyed it i did something different with my hair today i blow dried it so it actually turned out really cute but yeah so that was it for today bye guys